Hi. So it is a rainy Wednesday afternoon here in Birmingham, Alabama. But um, I don't know. I was driving home this afternoon and I was thinking about um, my ketones and how like I just didn't feel tired this afternoon. I didn't have that slump and just amazing how much better I feel since I've started all these. And I was also thinking about like where I've been in the diet world and just thought I would share. So um, most of you know, I have a son and he was born in 2009 and I gained a bunch of weight. Not a crazy absurd amount, but enough that it was bad. So after he was born, I started working out and I was playing tennis and I was doing lots of different things and I was trying to eat healthy, right? The chicken, breast, grilled on a bed of lettuce with no salad dressing, no nothing. Yeah, that, that diet. Um, I did that for a long time. Counted calories of fruits and vegetables and weighed everything out and I, I lost weight. I did, but I didn't lose anything substantial. I, sure, I was better. And then I got pregnant with my daughter. <laughs> um, for those of you who know my daughter, she was a giant baby. Um, I also gained 60, six zero pounds when I was pregnant with her. Um, I weighed almost as much as my husband. And he's six six. It was depressing. It was awful. Um, and after she was born, I really started working out hard and I mean hard. I was playing tennis four or five days a week for an hour or two at a time. I was coming home and still running in the afternoon. I was counting those calories again. Um, again, eating what I thought was healthy foods. I mean, we've all been there, right? Fruits and vegetables, grilled chicken. You're good. You can have pasta, just eat a cup. Who wants a cup of pasta, by the way, anyway? So I did. I lost a lot of weight, and um, I was really proud of that, and it made me feel really good. But that weight crept right back on, and so I started with yet another diet, um, and a lot of you have, have tried the shakes, right? The shakes. Um, and I was drinking the shakes, and I was doing some workouts on videos and different things, and when I first started with the shakes, um, I thought maybe I was lactose intolerant. Like, I was so bloated. I felt just poofy and big and just not energized. Um, sure, I was working out. Sure, I was losing some weight. But I wasn't seeing any sort of results. Like, I would just keep drinking those shakes. Drink, drink, drink. Um, at one point... I thought there was something in the shanks that was making me feel so bloated that I switched to the vegan variety and that helped some, but I still felt awful, awful. So I quit the shanks, but I continued to work out and I still felt pretty good. But, um, come this past fall, I realized it was just time. It was time for me to do something. It was time. So, um, that is why I jumped on the 10 day experience that a friend was offering and, that was now a little over 100 days ago, so a little over three months ago, and I have never seen results like this in my entire life. Um, I would love to tell you that I'm working out every day. I would love to tell you that, but I'm not. Um, I think I worked out like maybe 10 times in January, and hey, that was really good. That was more than I had done in December and November. Um, February hasn't gone so well yet. I'm saying it's only the seventh, so we'll get back on track. But the fact that my body is now running on fat, basically in ketones rather than glucose, has been just life changing. Like my energy level is just through the roof. And with that comes like this sharpness, this clarity, this I've got to do this and that and this, and I can. Um, my husband has said I've never looked so lean. It, it's just amazing. And um, this morning, I also saw a weight on the scale that I have not seen, y'all, since middle school. Middle school. Like, what? Um, and that just that just blows my mind that, they're, that, that I'm weighing something that I weighed in middle school. And yet, for lunch today, I ate spinach with a cheesy chicken fritter covered in avocado and pesto. Like, 
really? So I'm enjoying all these wonderful foods, and yet I'm down to like a middle school weight. That's just, that's just, that just blows my mind. So if you've been stuck on that cycle with some shakes and some little bitty containers that you're supposed to measure all your food in, for the birds, that's for the birds, um, please let me know what I can do to help you because you don't need to measure out how many grapes you're going to eat. Um, I can show you a much more fun way to enjoy your food and just to feel so much better. So I just thought I would share my, my little adventure. Um, those 60 pounds that I gained with my daughter, they're long gone. Um, I'm actually, let's see if I do the math in my head, I'm probably over a hundred pounds less than when I gave birth to her. So that's crazy. Anyways, yeah, it's over a hundred. That's crazy. So anyways, I hope that you all, um, take the time to make yourself the priority. We all do so much for everybody else in our family. I know like I'm thinking I'm looking at the clock running winter. I'm going to have to go pick up my son from chess club. It happens. Um, but make yourself the priority too. Like you're so worth it. And I just wanted to let you all know that that's what I was thinking. So have a great day and keto on.